Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, welcome to part two of my very first FG Normal order unbagging. Um, I have paid for all these myself. Uh, they're not a promotional package or anything, I did uh, put this order in. Uh, there was a couple of bits that I saw that I fancied, so I ordered some extra bits to go with them. And these are the extra bits. So we'll get into these and have a look and see what we got. Uh, we'll start with the smallest one first. Looks like somebody's actually opened this one and then sealed it back up again, but that's okay as long as everything's in here. That's all we need to know. So let's reopen it and see where we are and what we got okay what's in here what's in here it's very thin Ooh. okay right very very small Ooh. oh my goodness oh. <laughs> that's not a brilliant start okay this um isn't really what i was expecting um oh my goodness me what on earth is that right it's not what i thought i thought it was a full drill for starters and i've not looked at the description have i uh now this actually says that this is a cicadilla but that looks like uh, three giraffes to me <laughs> and that's what i thought it was let me flatten it out and we'll have a look at it a bit closer. As you can see, it's a partial drill, a very partial drill. This one won't take much doing at all. Um, okay. Well, you can't have everything. My uh, unboxing number one was superb and I loved everything in it. So this is the one that's not quite so good, shall we say. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely giraffes. They're not deers, they're giraffes. They are definitely giraffes. <laughs> and this cost me £3.99. Oh, it does say it's a 25 by 30, so it's my fault for not looking. Um, but that will just be, well, goodness me. Okay. It's a horrible white background, so it's not going to look brilliant anyway. So it is 20, it is 25 centimetres actually, that way which is nine and three quarter inches and to that picture line there uh it is 20 centimeters so it is a 20 by 25 Ooh. it actually measures true to size uh, which is just under eight inches what to be honest what i will probably do with this one is actually cut these out um and use them either as a sticker or put them on a different background uh, possibly even sorry about the shadow it's very dark here today uh, possibly even make them into a greetings card yeah uh, <laughs> you can't win them all right so basic toolkit there uh, pen wax boat okay just a general one <laughs> it has come in baggies right Oh, okay, so we've gone to all the expense of actually putting the drills into uh, Little Grip Seal Bags. It has 13 different colours. Goodness me, I suppose it's got quite a bit of shading. It may look better when it's done, to be fair, although at the moment it does look very square and very blocky. And I think it's just the background, just the white background just makes it look so plain. It really needs to be a sticker. It's going to have to be cut out, yeah, and put on something else. Um, I will probably cut those off and then just use a marker pen wherever I put it just to put those back in again, just to add uh, a little bit more texture to it. But yeah, oh, I mean, actually, I thought it was quite a nice picture because it looks like uh, mummy and daddy and baby all together. Quite a nice little picture, but oh dear, mm, that's not what I expected. The joys of ordering online so we have a uh, pink i like a uh, muted purpley color that's my uh, peppermint green cream color and like a mauvey darky mauve color a uh, rust color another gray another brown like a plummy color there put that the right way around and we've got your b500 200 whites pinks that's a nice orangey color uh, another like a very dark purpley plum colour and another pink so the colour palette actually is quite pretty 
and as I say I think it may, I'll show you a bit closer up there, I think it may look better uh, once it's actually done um, and cut out. It needs putting on a jungly background or a nice green or brown background or something so that it stands out. But, uh, yeah, would, if I'd have known it was this, would I have paid three ninety nine for it? Uh, a resounding no, I'm afraid. That one's a definite fail. But we live and learn. Um, and I show you these things on my channel so that you know if you see this one again, uh, to double check what you're actually getting before you order it. <laughs> so that's number one. Uh, let's have a look at number two. Uh, put that out of the way a moment. Right, so number two feels quite fat. Let's see what number two is. Okay, so this one's been opened. Look at sand tape back up as well. I wonder if Customs got this and they've opened them to see what they are and then just sealed them back up. There was no Customs label or anything with it, but you never know, do you, when you're getting parcels. Oh, this looks nice, bright colours. So let's see what we've got in this one. Okay. <laughs> yes oh, that's fab oh i love it absolutely love it can you see what it is it's two gnomes wearing bunny ears and they've got their easter eggs here so it's an easter picture easter gnomes I tell you i've gone to the gnome dark side <laughs> let's just uh, flatten it out a little bit more oh this makes up for giraffes the colors on this are lovely and it looks like a really good quality canvas. It's poured glue, so we shouldn't have any problems with it. Uh, judging by the way this is sticking down, I can see that this is a fairly sticky canvas as well. But those colours look brilliant. This is going to be a real happy painting to do. I do like doing brighter colours. I do think it makes you smile when you do a bright coloured painting. <gasps> 30 colours! Wow! We've got a key code top and bottom. Uh, I suspect that this will be about a 25 by 35. Yep, 25 that way, which is nine and three quarter inches by uh, 35 that way, which is 13 and three quarter inches. So yeah, you do lose the little bit. But look, at he's got a rainbow hat on it as well. I just love it. Look, we've got a daffodil here. And this is like a white daffodil, which I think is a narcissa. Is it narcissus? Uh, yeah, and then all the Easter eggs around. Oh, this is going to be a fun one to do. Looks like a nice uh, key code there. We've got one down to eight. Uh, oh, one down to nine. And then it looks like we're all capital letters. Quite nice and easy to read. Looks like the drill field is really nice and clear as well. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun one to do. This is an Easter one. I think what I'm going to do now, I've got um, a planner, if you've seen my previous videos, is actually write down the paintings that I've got that are like for Christmas, for Easter, for Valentine's Day, for Halloween, so that when I go then shopping again, I know how many I've got. And then I've got realistic, realistic expectations as to what I can actually do. <laughs> Because I overwhelmed myself a bit with Christmas. I got too many. I can never have any too many diamond paintings and too many diamond painting projects. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I did give quite a few away as well. Okay. So let's have a look at these lovely colours. Uh, what price was this one? My gnomes were... Wow, so this was three ninety nine. So I got that one for three ninety nine. And I got that one for three ninety nine. You just can't work out the prices, can you? You just can't really compare it. Mm. Okay. All right. So again, oh I've got a few little bags in this one, so a little bit extra. Uh, a one point one toolkit there. <laughs> and oh we've got two lots of baggies okay oh oh and i think these are all put into singles let me have a look oh now look i struggle enough getting into these bags without giving the two bags on one picture <laughs> i 
Oh yeah, they're all singles, look, so I'm not going to take them all out. But I think you can see, look, we've got pinks, purples, blues, lots of pinks and greens and aquas and everything in that one. I wonder if they put the wrong drills in with them. Maybe that's why this has been opened and then they've had to put the right drills in. Yeah. But why did they have to cut them all up? And then this one, it's got all the greens and oranges. Oh, look at that green. I love that green. And blues and burgundies. So, yeah, lots of nice happy colours in that one. And I think I'm going to put them all in the same bag. Actually, let me get one of my own bags ready for... Uh... Sorry, crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Let me put them all in together. Did you see the little critter jump and escape off the desk? I did, fortunately. <laughs> I will actually, once uh, I've finished filming, I'll go through and double check that I have got all these because I don't want to get to actually doing this. Uh, it'll probably be another month or so's time. And then find I've got colours missing, so yeah. When you've got the strips, it's pretty easy to see what colours you've got, but because they've put these in separate bags and then they've put them all separate drills i do just want to double check i've got all my uh, correct drills in there so that's that one excuse the crinkling i do apologize but it is what it is right so that's that one let me just get the next one Okay, and the last one, this one feels, oh, this is the one I opened to see where it was from. This feels really thin. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I've had uh, my eye on this one for a while. i just uh, find the end. Where's the end? Where's the end? Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is. Got it, got it. There's the end. Got it, little critter. Wanting to hide from me. Ha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So this one I just thought was really colourful. Again, really pretty. And it is hot air balloons. But look at all those. Wow. That was that is fab. It's only a partial, so there are only part drills on all of the hot air balloons. Oh, 17 different gems as well, 17 different gem shapes. Let's see if we flatten it out that little bit. Oops. Okay. If you just straighten out the plastic on these, it does just make them lie that little bit flatter. And then if you just put them under something heavy, um, in a portfolio or under your mattress or something, um in a book or something like that and it will just flatten them out and you'll find that they're easier to work on they won't be trying to roll up and escape off your desk while you're doing painting but yeah i just thought this is lovely it's all special drills special gems and yeah it says it's 30 by 40 we'll give it a quick measure but i'm sure it will only be the same oh this one's 24 that way by 30, just under 34 that way, so yeah, you do lose that little bit. But I think it's a lovely picture, and it just reminded me, um, we went to Chatsworth House quite a few years ago now, uh, and we'd been around the Chatsworth House Country Fair, and we always used to take a picnic. Uh, we're too mean to pay the food prices when we go to these places. You, know, you pay like £3 for a coffee and like £5 for a sandwich. So we always pack up and take a flask. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day, we went to have our picnic um, in the car. And what we hadn't realised was we were parked in the far field near where all the hot air balloons take off from. At the end of the show, they do a big hot air balloon like race display. 
So I'm just going to put it that way. Does it show? Sorry. I know the balloons don't take off that way, but I think you can see the picture better that way. Uh, yeah. So we had <laughs> our picnic watching all these fantastic hot air balloons just taking off all around us. And it was a magical day. Just finished off a lovely day, a lovely afternoon. We went to uh, myself and hubby and my mum and dad went on that occasion so yeah hot air balloons make me smile because it brings back that lovely happy memory i'll see if i can find a photograph and i'll put it in so that you can see some of the balloons that we saw okay let's have a look at the gems then can i put it that way no it's not going to show that way i do apologize for the lighting Get into this packet. Ooh. I've just spotted some very different gems in this one. Okay, so let's start at this end at the standard gems. So we have a lovely red, cherry red, and quite a few blues, and that's like a ooh, like very pale sort of skin tone pink champagne colour. And then that's a very, very dark red and a lovely warm pinky purple. And that's a very dark purple. And that's a very dark sort of navy type blue. And a green and a couple of golds. And look, look, we've got little quad cubes in this as well. We've got quad cubes in this, yay! So these parts on the balloons that are squares are actually the little square gems. Wow, actually I don't think they are quad cubes, I think they're smaller. I don't think they are four drill size. I think they're smaller, I'll have to get some out and compare them, but yeah. Oh, I like getting different shaped ones. I'm a definite magpie, I do like sparkly things. And then some of those lovely, like, muted gold uh, teardrops and some little gold stars. And then some larger, bit more sparkly gold teardrops there. Sorry, marquees, the marquees, aren't they? I'm thinking the smaller at the end, no, but the marquees. Okay, well, so we started off with uh, not a very brilliant painting and we've ended off with a lovely sparkly painting with a very happy gnome in the middle. Uh, the toolkit with that one is the same, and then it's just got some of those plastic tweezers. I don't know if anybody ever uses those, um, but yeah, you just get those plastic tweezers. Okay, so we have balloons. We have bunny gnomes. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> it's the bunny ears. I just think they're fab. <laughs> And then the very strange deer, as they called it, which is definitely a giraffe. It's a giraffe. It's not a deer. It's a giraffe. OK, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Uh, if you have, if you can give me a thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. Don't forget to check out part one as well, which had the uh, other items that I got in this order. And if you want to come back and see more and see more unboxings and see me finish some of these and what I get up to next, if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.